Whoa, whoa. Leftovers. My favorite thing maybe ever. Ham bone soup. The leftover bone from your Thanksgiving ham. And I think I'm gonna make canned vegetable soup. Nothing but canned veggies and leftovers. See how good we can make it. I was inspired by cornbread. Not just any normal cornbread, but cornbread I found in the middle of the road. Roadkill cornbread. Uh, super good, it was in a Ziploc bag, so it's okay, I guess. You're missing your cornbread? Well, it's mine now, so. Hello, Saturday morning, December 3rd. It gets close to nine o'clock. I'm currently pulling up in the middle of the road. Heck yeah, boy! Road cornbread. It's mine now, boys. <laughs> we made shepherd's pie at my friend Matt and Sarah's house. It was really good. We had to eat it with the cornbread. So uh, anyways, I was just inspired. And uh, there's a lot of different ways to make ham bone soup. But this is my way of making ham bone soup, okay? I'm also cooking out of a file cabinet, so you got to expect it's going to be a little out there, okay? <laughs> Of course it's raining, but we've got a ham bone. We're making ham bone soup, I'm getting everything fired up. I'm gonna make it with nothing but canned veggies. It's gonna be very budget friendly. So I'm in here right now. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with file cabinet number two. That's right. My friend Matt helped me out, helped me fabricate and kind of brainstorm and pretty much did all the work for file cabinet number two. That's right. Cue the music. Okay, I've got the pot all oiled up. It's been sitting there. Got my hand bone. It's looking good. Yeah, it's good. The first thing you want to do as it starts to rain harder is to put it in there and brown it and kind of make a brine or something. They have a word for it. And uh, then you just kind of go, I'm just, I'm just, oh. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm kind of just like, I'm winging it. So I've got the ham in there right now. I put, well, it's got the oil. It's got the, the heated up oil and we're just kind of cooking it there on the bottom of the pan. This is the pan that I'm gonna cook all of the, all of the soup in. Uh, here in a minute, I'm going to slice up some onion, slice up some potatoes, a leftover jalapeno. Uh, I've also got, uh, it's a natural seasoning. Uh, I can't really go into the specifics of it, but it, I want to add chicken broth. I have some chicken broth, but there's also a bunch of like the juice from the veggie cans, uh, which is like awkward, but it's like good too at the same time. All right, so we're getting really close. A lot of the meat's falling off. I've had it boiling and simmering everything. So it's pretty much off the bone. The rest is just kind of nasty gristle and weird looking. So I'm about to take it off. I've had the other fried veggies on the in the third drawer and they just basically been getting smoked out this whole time. It's been about 30 minutes. And I've also got the cabbage and the squash and the white beans just chilling over there. 
and they're using all their juices in the boil. And so, yeah, it's time to just kind of let all that cook together and just let all the veggies and everything soak up the juice and uh, just simmer for a while. All right, so we took it off and we shoveled it into the bowls. We're eating it with crackers right now. It's really good. There's a lot of flavor. Obviously, we put like every kind of flavor in it, I guess, but like it's really good. It's a really good way to just go ahead and eat the rest of your ham bone. And it's all just all right. basic, mostly just canned goods. And, you know, except for the potatoes and the onions and the leftover jalapeno, but and the natural seasoning. But uh, it's super good, and that's how I made it. So it's good. It's good. <laughs>